Hi. Uh, so we're going to play Undertale. I've never played Undertale before, even though I own a Sans hoodie. It's a cool hoodie. Shut up. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be... I have no idea how many episodes it's going to take to play through it. I actually don't know how long the game is. I've watched a little bit of the intro playthrough by some other people, but I've never finished watching any of it, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, like, I get the gist of the game. Like, kind of hard to avoid it. Uh, we will be attempting to do a pacifist run because uh, be the change you want to see in the world, right? So, let's fire this up, and hopefully it runs properly. Start this. F four ah, full screen. When HP is zero, you lose. Settings language woo. Joystick convey. C, Z, X, C, hmm. This moves that around. That does nothing. Okay. Uh, well. Name the fallen human. Always just my own name. That is not my name. I can spell. Shut up. Here we go. Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do it. Ready? Here we go. So that's my soul. Very culmination of my being. 
<laughs> I can grow strong if I gain a lot of LV. Ah, love, of course. Friendliness pellets. Yeah. Oops. Uh huh. Yeah. The bullets. Friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay. Shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh yeah, let's save. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sign of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not in the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Hey, I just did that. Stay on the path. Okay. Must flip switch. Must flip switch. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next one. This switch doesn't even work. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Uh, let's see. We can fight. We can act. Dummy. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero experience and zero gold. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. <clears throat> Frog, it attacks you! Frog it. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> mm. You won. You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Ah. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. No, I, I figured it out. 
I could have done this. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Uh-huh. If you need anything for anything, just call. Be good, all right? say hello? Well, then, hello. I hope that suffices. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. to call her mom and I am not going to flirt. That's weird. I wonder how long we'd have to wait. We're not waiting. Ring. Hello, this is Toria. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have, not, I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Mm, I'm just gonna go ahead. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. What's this way? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes, we took a piece of candy. Monster candy. No, I don't want to take more than one. That seems rude. the frog it. Ooh, I got paid two gold for sparing the frog it. Oh no, I fell through a hole. <gasps> Whimson approached meekly. Halfway through your first word, Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay. I'll take it. Hello, this is Toria. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon. Oh god. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? Oh, I've got bad news, Toria. I actually really dislike butterscotch. <laughs> Do 
three out of four gray rocks like when you push them. Don't step on the leaves. Uh huh. I think I figured it out. Frog and Wimson Jr. Oh. Ah. I spare them both. screwed up. Mold's full blocked the way. Check. Curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Uh, huh. Imitate. Ah. Spare the mold small. Didn't you read the side pants first? <sighs> Push rock. Let them leave? Well there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. You want me to stay there. You're giving me a real workout. Thank you. I should go say thank you. Don't have to worry about those things. They are. Ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. That's rude. I don't really have a choice. Here comes Napsta Bluke. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Ah! Ow! Rude. What? No! Shit. 
shit. Dapper Blue. Oh. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. What's up here? A little pathway? What's over here? Leave 7 G in the web? No? Leave 18 G? I don't even have 18. No? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. Alright. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Spider donut. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Oh, good. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. I try. since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Fair. There is just one switch. Pick on him. The family name, I Walker. Please don't pick on me. Finally, someone gets it. Ow! I didn't pick on you. Why are you being mean to me? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Contains vitamin A. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat the greens.
Maps to Bluke is down here. Let's go say hi to him again. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh, it looks like there's more stuff. Migosp crawled up close. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. This sucks. <laughs> oh, the load spell's gone. It's there. Vegetoid? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. I wonder if I can just keep getting healed. I mean, just keep doing this until I'm fully healed, right? Seems like. Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Ew. Well, I might as well fall down the last hole and see what's down here, right? Nothing! Alright. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. It's a switch. Press it. Let's press the blue switch. Just spare them all. What's over here behind this thing? You hear a clinking sound. A pair of vegetoids. Dinner. Nope. Uh -oh. oh, because I didn't actually get the greens, it doesn't spare. Yeah. 
through the door. If you can read this, press the red switch. between you and me. A tutorial come out of her just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. You found the toy knife. That been packed to be made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Uh huh. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is it room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes in a disparity of sizes. It's the same song with different instruments. Go to bed. Uh oh. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Sorry. Toriel's small chair. It is named Cherio. an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus, truly the most sundere of plants. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you! Oh, it's a water sausage. Oh, it's a water sausage. Oh, 
These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You have hurt your hand inside. I don't, don't do that. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um... Nothing. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There are some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters from gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Alright, well... Seventy-two uses for snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Um, yeah. You said I could look around, you know. So I'm just gonna go downstairs. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh. Okay. Toriel. I have to do something. Stay here. But where are you going? No. Wow, she's fast. Bets that she went downstairs. Around the corner. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. no? Ex excuse you. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. A naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. This music is awesome. Tutorial. Attack 80, defense 80, knows best for you. Whoa! Whoa! Tutorial prepares a magical attack. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Tutorial looks through you. Ugh. 
he tried to think of something to say again, but... Whoa! Ow! Toriel takes a deep breath. Ironically, talking does not seem to be a solution to this situation. Ow! Toriel is acting aloof. Monster King. Question mark this time. Proving this way. Toriel looks through you again. Uh, let's use our bandage. <laughs> oh god! Fight me or leave. looking at me that way. Go away. to go home, but spare. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aw, hugs! You tried. Goodbye, my child.
Well, let's go through the door. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hmm. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if we meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy... Undertale by Toby Fox. So that's all just the intro, eh? That flower is from a nightmare. There's a camera hidden in the bushes? Weird. human don't you know how to greet a new a new pal turn around and shake my hand The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. It's, it's not. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sons, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. 
rim shot. Nice. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Well, I mean... Oh, oh. oh, I can't go behind the lamp anymore? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. How? You went backwards. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Sure. Oh, hey, there's a glove inside. Let's uh, put the toy knife inside. Don't want to accidentally cut myself. <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay. Hi, Snowdrake. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Macaroni and freeze. Oh boy. Oh boy. Snowdrake realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Ow! Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All this is attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. Okay, let's just. Speaking of calls. Nobody picked up Toriel's phone. <clears throat> Sans and Papyrus. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you die. Yeah. 
Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Ah. Ice cap struts into view. Act. Ice cap. Check. Ice cap. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. I just love my hat, okay? Whoa. 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 You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Ignore? You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Reinforced Ice Cap has a great hat. Duh. Okay, so we just need to ignore it a couple times. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving. Oh boy. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Whoa! Check out uh, Dog with Maul Swords here. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Dogger can't seem to find anything. Pet the dog. You pet doggo. What? I've been pet! Pot? Pet? Pet? Pot? Pet? Pet? Pot? Spare the dog. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off. Last one. Oh, no. It changed again. Alright, we're done now. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Wait, what? Hey. There's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Oh boy. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden Town, and ice. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, 
Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure? Weird? You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Ooh. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh. Okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah! Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll buy another one. Thanks. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Sure. Did I say 5G? I mean 50G. Sure. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Mmm. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. I hate it. Uh, destroy at all costs. His. Hers. Okay. So it only lasts for so long. Oh gosh. No, go that way. Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded two gold. There's a camera hidden inside this all of snow. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Sure. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? 
It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. I see. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Sons, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble, crossword? Crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. That's a good joke. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you weren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Muscle. All right. I think that's gonna be it for today. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. I think that's a good place to uh, stop for today. Um, we will continue next time. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a pleasant evening and goodbye.